Before we get into this video, I'm giving away a couple of collector booster packs from the new Lord of the Rings Holiday Edition. If you'd like a chance to win one of these, stay till the end of the video to learn how. With Christmas right around the corner, uh, Magic the Gathering is doing a re-release of the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth set that they did over the summer, including lots of new art treatments and a handful of new cards as well. One of the things that is coming along with that are these scene uh, boosters, I guess. In each of these boxes comes three set boosters for the set, and then each also comes with six unique borderless cards that fit together to make one piece of art and a stand to display in it. One for the Witch King, one for Aragorn, one for Galadriel, and one for Gandalf. But are they any good? Are they cool? Uh, I don't know. That's what we're gonna find out today. We're gonna open them up, take a look at how they look in actuality and then you can assess for yourself if this is something you're interested in getting someone for a christmas gift this year and then full transparency i did get sent these by wizards of the coast so you could say it's a sponsored video but they're not paying me to make this video they don't know i'm making this video i'm just making it because i have these and i need to make videos so all thoughts and opinions are my own let's open these up Right off the bat, we should clarify that you should not be picking this up for the financial value. I've seen them anywhere from like local game stores to Walmart to Amazon, and they're floating around 40 to $45. Yes, this comes with three set boosters and these new cards, but most of these new cards aren't that valuable and you can't put any pressure on what's going to be in those set boosters. Cause yeah, you might get something valuable like the one ring, but you might also just get a bunch of nonsense that's not worth anything. So you should not be buying this for financial value you should be buying it because you think it looks cool and you think that it'll you know make your heart happy with that said the packaging on this is kind of weird but i guess i don't know what else they would have done with it i think these cardboard punch outs are really ridiculous i think they're kind of cool in like the commander pre-cons when you can use them as counters or whatnot but here what's the point the stand itself is pretty flimsy it's a very thin cardboard like material not much different than like the posters you would get in the bundles i do like that you have the option to use the new cards or you can use art cards though if you're just going to use the art cards i mean the back of the stand actually has the art on it and it's not broken up like the cards so if you really just wanted it for the art you're better off just using the back side of the stand with that said that flexibility is pretty cool like if you really want to play with some of these cards you can just use those and then put the art cards in here the art cards actually stay in here better because of how bad the foils curl yeah, Magic's been struggling with curled foils for a long time. Sometimes it's better, sometimes it's worse, but these are quite atrocious. Once you get these cards in here, they will pop up. And as you'll see, as we're going through here, I am putting the art cards in instead of the normal cards. I will do the normal cards on the last one so you can see both. But the reason I did that is because of how these flaps are that hold the cards in place. It's kind of hard to shimmy the card in there and I was scared of damaging the cards. And then once they're in there, the flap is just there it's this black bulge that covers up a little bit of the card and it takes away from the perfect cohesion that could otherwise exist i feel like there was a way that if people had thought about it a little bit longer they could have put this together a little better like i said on the last one i will be using the normal cards and not just the art cards and that one is for gandalf now i do actually think that the art for all of these is really cool however the gandalf one actually does make me sad because i feel like none of gandalf's cards were that strong like they're cool but they're not like pushed or anything like that and then on this one we don't even see his face he's turned away so that's definitely kind of a bummer especially as a lord of the rings fan i really like gandalf he's one of my favorite characters with that said i think as a lord of the rings fan there is something about this that is still pretty cool minus all of those things that i just complained about and all, some of the new cards are pretty cool and probably pretty fun to play so there is a chance of that happening now should you pick this up for yourself i would say no if if you want any of these cards just go pick up the singles but if you're also a lord of the rings fan and you just really like the art or you think this is a fun experiment then sure it's pretty cool i might leave these out on my desk not really sure what i'm going to be doing with them and then if you are thinking about getting this for someone else for christmas coming up or something like that if they're a big lord of the rings fan it's something you could keep in mind but i feel like at the 40 to 45 dollar range there are probably nicer gifts you could be getting them so overall i'm a little disappointed with these uh, there are things that i think are cool like the card art the fact that it's lord of the rings the mechanics seem pretty cool and i would like to see them try something like this again in the future but you know they need to make it so that the art is more cohesive and also make the stands more sturdy and i think just those couple things would be a good step in the right direction 
thanks for watching this video. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about these. But hey, now it's time to talk about how to win one of these collector booster packs. The easiest way to enter is joining us on Patreon and then getting in our Discord. All of our Patreons in there are going to get entered to win. And then you can also enter by making a post about Geek and Seek either on X, formerly known as Twitter, or on Instagram and tagging us in it. Links to all of our socials in the description of this video. It could be about any of our videos, not this one, just any of our videos that you like. Just sh give it a share, uh, tell people about it, whatever. My cat came to say hi. However, we're only doing the giveaway if this video gets more than 500 views before Christmas. And if we do that, we will announce the winner on December 26th. So make sure you're following us on Instagram and or Twitter so that you see the announcement on who the winners are. We'll let you know how to get a hold of us then. And that way we can get these shipped out to you and get them in your hands before the end of the year. But yeah, hopefully that works out for you guys. And thanks for watching this video, sticking to the end. Here's a couple links to some of our other recent videos or a couple others that I think you might like. Make sure you subscribe subscribe for more Magic the Gathering content, and I'll see you guys later.